Hey everyone, Sir Terman here again, and today I'm bringing you the best deck of the format. I don't care what anybody says, in my opinion, this Nila Janna deck is actually so freaking busted. Like, do you love drawing cards and do you love all your cards being redu reduced in cost? Then this is the deck for you. Like, this deck has so much value and it's able to just kind of completely blow over like any opponent that's not ready to prepare like unless you're specifically taking to counter this deck it's going to be really hard to deal with just how much pressure they can put in because of the discounted mariners because of the elusive the brash all the draw that they get and then the tide dancing just making things everything even worse and then you have the burn on top of that man both of these champions feel so good in this deck and that's why i wanted to showcase it to you all because you know, I will be doing you a disservice if I'm not showing you how to play, in my opinion, the best deck in the format. So, hope you enjoy the games coming up soon. And if you do, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post LR videos every single day. Enjoy the games. In this match, we're against Timo and Kaylin. So, Frelier and Piltover and Son. Ah, uh, that's a great draw, right? Because this will let me block the Timo right away. Um... The Miriam is kind of interesting. The four chief is kind of interesting. I'm gonna actually mulligan both away. I'm gonna focus on Janna and potentially Nila. And we get we get the Nila and we also get again we have this acorn. Yeah, we'll, we'll drop the acorn down because it doesn't matter whether we do it now or later. I guess the opponent technically have the. Um... I'm gonna play Nila, get ourselves the slipstream. Opponent shouldn't have a brash blocker here. The only thing that they could have is the platform peddler. And if they play the flash from peddler and take the one here i'm kind of cool with this i, I think I'm, i think i'm okay with this right they can block it here they don't block it so they take the damage oh uh, how do we do this though so we can bounce the tide dancer back do we ever blow back caitlin so what is just looking to mystic shadows i guess <laughs> Do I just pass? I think I'm just gonna pass. I think I'm gonna let them do whatever they want. The flash from pedal is a little bit annoying with all the uh, draw that we have, right? Like that's a lot of draw that we're gonna have. Yeah, so I need to kill I need to kill one of these guys. I need to kill one of these guys, but it sucks because I really don't want to spend this blowback right now. But if I get if I get all those uh, flash bombs on the top of my deck, it's gonna be a problem. Wow, this sucks because I don't wanna. Wow. I guess I should just block, right? If I block, I could have killed one of them. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. That is gonna hurt, my friend. We can go like this. Maybe this... Yeah, we should take... We should put the uh, Nila back instead of the Yana, right? We should put the Nila back instead of the Yana. Officer, is gonna, yeah. Oh, you're gonna draw me cards. So here, if I attack with Nila, I'm gonna be loose. I'm gonna be going into the. Uh... Mm. No matter what, we're we're thinking of drawing a lot of cards, right? No matter no matter what, there's gonna be a lot of cards that we're gonna be drawing. The flash bombs are gonna be a problem. The flash bombs are gonna like completely blow us out if we don't do something about it quick. But I don't have anything that I want to discard just yet, and that's what's really annoying me. Like I don't want to discard the second Nila. I don't want to discard anything else, right? The Howling Gate should give me some value. So this Howling Gate should give me some outs. We can go here. We have a blocker. Or do we just try to level up this gun? I mean, we can go for the slipstream and whatever we get, that's... Sure. Sure, right? I mean, you want to use the Sky Splitter here? That's fine with me. The problem now is, again, more Flash Bombs, right? More Flash Bombs, more problems. This, uh... Hmm. Ay, 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 I hate this. I actually hate this. Let's go Howling Gate on the first one here. 
Opponent's gonna commit for all their flash bombs now. Yep, missed it. Okay. So that's fine, I guess, because we're gonna have another Nila anyways. If we have this Janna take that damage, that might be okay. We can go... Slipstream. Okay, Janna is almost dead, by the way, but we have a second Janna. We can blow back here and remove this girl or here. Go like this. We're going to updraft this Janna. Or we can just play Janna out now. I think that's also fine. This, this is so weird. Again, the flash bombs are just messing me up so much. The flash bombs are messing me up so much. And it's going to push a lot of damage again. So the flash bomb just... Actually, I probably just killed... Like, if I could have killed those guys earlier, we would have been so much better off. Right? Unfortunately, that, couldn't, that wasn't the case. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? I think I have to draw. I think I have to draw. Yeah, I think I have to draw. Unfortunately, we lose our little elusive. And every time that we draw now, we're going to be taking so much damage. Wow, every time that we draw, we're going to be taking so much damage because of this Justice Rider. We can kill the Teemo. Yeah, we can kill that Teemo. I guess the opponent can have Sky Splitter. We get the Exalted. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Do whatever you need to. We'll go like this. The, the draw with the freaking Justice Rider is actually kind of nuts. It's pushing so much damage. It's, it's, being, it's like literally clearing my whole board. And I'm not pushing any damage at all into them. We'll need to get... So what we'll need to get is Nila and the Tide Dancer. In the meantime, just try to not die to the opponent's like removal here. Divine Draft. Yeah, see like we... This the Tide, this the tide Dancer. So we can go Tide Dancer here. We're going to take all this damage. The Janna can level up. The Janna can level up. Um, which means that we get an elusive attacker. We might be we might be able to get there. I have something very and as I say that, opponent just says, no, you're not going to get there, right? Um, if we level up this Janna now, it's probably the way that we need to do it. So we need to level up Janna now. That's going to trigger the puff caps. Uh, so, to get the Brash, Nila is already leveled up, so we're going to get this, like, we just need to be able to, uh, I'm going to do it here. I'm going to do it here, right? And then I'm going to play the Nila. As long as my tight collar stays alive, I should be okay. How many flash bombs? Okay. The tight color stayed alive. We play Nila. And that lets me get the brash on everything else because of the tight color. So everything else is going to get brash once I play this Divine Draft. We can actually go like this now. And this is all going to get pre removed. So we all have Brash. I need to be able to actually have the Snilla hit though. So if the opponent has any way to stop the Snilla attack. So the opponent needs to have it needs to have harsh winds, right? And even with the harsh winds, we still push four. So we still push four. We have slipstream and we have quite a bit of other stuff. So those flash bombs mean that we lose the Janna. Okay, Mystic is one burn. Acorn. Okay. <laughs> Come on, man. Stop. Stop it. Okay, you're gonna give me the draw? You're gonna give me the draw? 
Let's go for a slipstream because I want to just draw more. I want to draw a ton of cards, right? Stop it. Stop it. If we can attack, if this Nila can survive, we should be okay. If the opponent gives me the burn, we should also be okay. Okay. That's not burn. Okay, Nila still survives. Oh, wait. That's a bad, that's a bad play, right? Because the Nila cannot die. So the Nila can now die to the uh, to the to the flash bombs. If op opponent should attack with everything, why are you not attacking with everything? Why are you not attacking with everything? Alright, if the Nila if the Nila survives, we get to push two damage to the opponent's nexus. The slip streams actually help because the slip streams add additional cards to the opponents. Yeah, so then we just go like this, right? We just go like this. And we should be okay because this is dealing two and then the mystic shot gets the rest so the mystic shot gets us the rest what what a, what a crazy game what a crazy game like the fact that the justice rider and the peddler was just pushing so much into us was such a problem so i'm just gonna mystic here right i guess we can wait yeah we just mystic now we just mystic now and call it a day right there's no reason for us to wait. There's no reason for us to wait because there's no way that the opponent can stop this with the regions. What a what a roller coaster of emotions. If the opponent had any way to deal with Nila last turn, we would have been able to get to this position. <laughs> wow. What what a deck. What a deck. GG's. In this match, we've been against. <laughs> Nora. So this is Cosmical. So Hans Axel, Riot. Uh, I have played against him a couple times in this uh, with this deck already. So I kind of have an idea of what I should be expecting. Um, I like the Fort Chief here. I like the Mystic Shot, right? So the Mystic Shot lets us kill that Nora. Double Eye of the Storm. Inter I mean, Triple Eye of the Storm. Sorry. Interesting. We have a lot of draws. So this, this Nila is going to be leveled up very, very quickly. There's no question about it. If the opponent plays their Nora here, I will just drop this mystic. Because they, they they're playing that they're playing some of those target spells that can actually buff up health. From what I remember when I, when I played against Hans, um, as I was recording another video the other day, and he plays the We Stand Together card that lets them keep their uh their Nora alive, even against our removal, right? Fortunately for us, we ended up with an elusive here an, an elusive here. So we should be able to use this elusive. Our hand is kind of awkward, but not impossible for us to kind of make a comeback because we do have a lot of draw. Priestess. What if we uh? What if we mystic the priestess so that we get the value from the uh from the uh attune right? And we get rid of that unit so that this guy this girl can also attack. So we get to attack with both units now. There's a problem with this Nila, right? If I play this Nila, it's too easy for the opponent to have removal for her. So I don't know that I actually want to play Nila just yet. As I say that, now I feel like I want to play her. <laughs> now I feel like I want to play her, huh? Maybe I should have gone for the Out of the Storm. I should have, I should have, I should have more aggressively gone for the Out of the Storm there. Um... I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this for five mana, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. But imagine if I had gone for the Out of the Storm here. Yeah, that's the We Stand Together that we talked about. We still have the Elusive Blocker. So we still have this Elusive Blocker. Um, we can pass here. We get a Slipstream. Hmm. Opponent could have Sunburst, right? If they have the Sunburst, I think I want them to do it here. I want them to do this here. If they have the Sunburst, I want them to do it here. Meteor Shower, okay. That that was a little bit more awkward than I expected, right? I was thinking of... I should have, maybe I should have played around that, that Meteor Shower. I should have known that the opponent was going to have Meteor Shower, potentially. Uh, I think I'm down to try it again. 
You have the Sunburst this time? They have the Sunburst, alright. So we'll go here. Uh, get ourselves... Does Blowback make sense, or is it just a poor chief? Hmm. Because this, losing this Blowback is going to kind of suck. I might just actually just drop this Blowback. Deal two damage. And just go like this and push another two here. Or do I just want to push the three? Do I ever need all this draw? Do I want to kill this? Like, do I ever need all this draw? Remember, we're the ones who make progress happen. Let's let's do for one. Let's go for one here. Let's push the two. We have all this draw for later. Losing the Nila suck, but I think I can burn them out at this point. Mystic. Need clearance, pal. I'm gonna see what they do here. If they go for Cosmic Call, I might just go out of the storm. Yeah, so if they go for uh, for that, I'm just gonna go out of the storm here. I'm gonna play one of them out, just so that we can have something that we can attack with. Because we, we have a good chance of hitting some of our units that are gonna get discounted. Yeah, so we go like this. The pine drop. There you go. So we get to we get to draw our hey, mariner. To uh, I'm gonna drop this divine draft right now, and then we're gonna attack. And we have two more eye of the storms to try to burn them out or try to kill them. As soon as they don't hit that portal, that should be okay. They don't hit the portal, so we go like this. Opponent goes for one. Removal, but then we have the out of the storm. Do they have both removals? If they have both removals, then this out of the storm is a little bit more awkward. Okay, let's go here. So, Pytos, do you have something else? They have the stuns, all right. So, we eat, we eat of the celestial one there. We can go. We can go like this. Do I want to play this Nila? Let's go like this, right? We're going to get so much draw next turn. So we're going to get so much draw next turn that I think it's fine to go for this. The Nila is already leveled up. Uh, a lot of things are going to be updraft here. That's the B cache. So we can fill our whole board. So two, four, six, nine. If they get living legends, I guess that could be a problem. So they have living legends cost them five. They have three cards here as well that could be very good for them. I think we I think we start with the uh, exalted cloudwinder. They have to be able to remove some of my units. This is going to give me a lot of banning. I think we start here first. Then we go Big Crash, Big Crash, Nila. And that will put so many slipstreams on my top of my deck that I should be able to uh, get some, some of the burn that I need. Scourge. Okay, so you get to kill this Janna, I guess. Do we care? Probably not, right? We can play Janna next turn. So we go here. Actually, hmm, does it make more sense for me to play this Janna now? And then Danila? I think I'd rather have... Because this... I, I'm already drawing two here, so I'm going to draw the Slipstreams. No, I, I already have the Elusives. I already have the Mana. And then just go Nila here. And then just win the game and just draw a bunch of cards. So we're gonna get a bunch of cards here. This is Nila is dealing two to the opponent's nexus. Uh, we can always play Janna to try to get the burn. We're gonna get the slip streams, and we even get more burn as well. So yeah, we just go like this, open attack, and that should be enough to get to get us there. Opponent shouldn't have a way to deal with all these units plus the burn that we're gonna have. Yeah, there we go. GG's. We lost those two Nilas, but I think again, the, the, that, that, that opponent's deck, the removal is really expensive. 
So then having to spend even the Meteor Shower and the uh, Sombers on the two Nilas, let us just be able to have this board to put as much damage as we did, even though we had like an Aqua Hand with the double Diana spell, so it keeps. In this match, are we going against the mirror, right? So, very respected. This deck has become very, very popular. But remember, there's a couple of cards that we actually play in this version of the deck that could help us with the mirror. Do I even want to play Nila? Do I even want to have Nila anytime soon? I think I'd rather just... I, I think I'd rather have Nila at, later on once we, like, level up, right? Because I'm scared that she's just going to die. Okay. Yeah, so we uh I'm scared that she's gonna die to the opponent's removal if we play her early enough. I guess she she always oh, she's always oh, she could still die at four health, but at least it takes the opponent a bit more time to actually kill her at four health. Yeah, we're gonna mystic shot this, especially because we can just go for uh get the attune next time, so I don't wanna have the full mana anyways. So we can have the two nets, so we can send back the tie collar. So that we can send back the tie collar with Janna. We don't have a way to deal with their Janna though, so that kind of sucks. Uh, let's go ahead and just take the attack now. If the opponent has a Mystic Shot, I don't want to be in a position. Like if the opponent has a way to remove my big cash, I don't want to be in a position where I get hit by the elusive. Oh, that's perfect. So we can send both tie collars back now. Yeah. <laughs> We're literally like playing almost the same thing, right? Yeah, we both play Janna. All right, all right. Which one of us is gonna get the uh, the five cost spell? Uh, the uh, the spell that does three first, right? That's the question. That is the question here. Let's go slipstream first. Tie collar. Wait. Oh, we we got it. We got it. But if we play. If we play Tide Collar, we will be relying on us hitting this Acorn to actually get the Howling Gate trigger. I think I like going like this and just Howling Gate the Janna. It's super tempting. It's definitely super tempting. Because opponent's going to have their own... The opponent's going to also have their own... Uh, their own Howling Gate, I'm pretty sure. So the opponent's gonna have their own Howling Gate. Wind need not be seen to move our world. So they can play their own Howling Gate here. We still have access to our Howling Gate over here. We can kill this Mariner, no problem. We don't need to play the Howling Gate right now. We can wait until after the attack, right? So we can wait until after the attack so that we can get this discounted by the Acorn. If the opponent does have a way to deal with Acorn here, of course they do. Um, I'm attacking with everything. If the opponent blocks with Janna, it's an easy divine brat. Uh, divine, right? Now the opponent has four here. Oh, actually three. So, oh wait, we don't want to do this one. Yeah, we don't want to do this one. I forgot about that. We'll go like this. We'll go like this. Uh, this type color is forever we, we reduce because it was the one that we upjacked with Janna. This is why we play Divine Draft, by the way, just for this just for this matchup. So we play Divine Draft for this matchup here. Okay. Let's go for it. The opponent is going to get this Nila pretty close. You have your own Howling Gate, finally? What is this? So they do have their own Howling Gate. So they, again, we, we knew that they were going to kill our Janna. We were going to kill their Janna. They have their Nila. We're going to take... Ooh, they lose a Bikash. We have another Divine Draft. We get our Tide Collar here. Yeah, we'll, we'll let you do whatever you want here. We'll go for Tide Collar here. And then next time we can play Nila plus whatever two cards we get. And we should be... Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Out of every top deck, you get more draw? I mean, this deck has like 80% draw, so... Why am I surprised, right? Why am I surprised? Um... Let's go Slipstream first. Oh. 
we can get Mila and get everything with Brash, right? And have Mystic Shot or Divine Draft to get rid of something that's Brash Blocker. So like the opponent's gonna be taking a lot of damage here. This is this is a lot of damage. Even if they have the way to kill the Mila here, they can block everything else unless they sacrifice their own Mila. I think I think I think I might be willing to just go for this divine draft on their Nila. We can also attack with our tight collar, pushing even more damage. We have another slipstream. We're gonna get another slipstream on the top of our deck if we get to attack with this Nila right now and the opponent does some blocker. Uh we can play both spells here, by the way, because of the acorn. Opponent is gonna dig for the draw. They get to level up their Nila. Does it make sense here? Okay, okay. So, this is 3, 8, 10, 14. Does it make sense to Mystic Shot their Nila first? Does it make sense to Mystic Shot their Nila first? Or just force it to block, right? If I lose the slipstream here, that is a little bit annoying because I'm going to be short in draw power. Yeah, so they have their Howling Gate. I think I like forcing them to block with the Snila. I think I like forcing them to block here if they want to block with the Nila. Because this both, both these units have quick attack, so the opponent loses the Nila. We still push. I guess the opponent should block here, right? There's no reason not to. Is that all you have? Why? No way, right? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, no way you do that. No way you do that. We get... We remember we, play, we play this Exalted... I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. So we just Divine Draft Vanilla. I guess opponent's going to push the Brash damage is what they're looking for. So the opponent is gonna try to push this brash damage, but all we need is so is all we need is one more card out of the three cards that we join here to just kill them, right? Now there is a chance that if the opponent gets their brash, ah, and there we go. There we go. We get the burn that we were looking for. So even if the opponent gets the own tie call, like you 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 have to block that damage. You know I can just burn you out. It made no sense to me not to do that. So right now you don't even have anything that you need. Yeah, I mean we will we just go like this. We'll just go here. And I guess we cannot block that one, so maybe we just block like this. Oops. Doesn't really matter which way we do it, right? Just show them both. <laughs> yeah, they the point ended up getting their own burn here. <laughs> That, that's why I wanted to make sure that I did block, right? The, if they, our tight quality of wins the game, but that Divine Draft, that Divine Draft getting rid of the two quick attack units early in the game is the reason why we play this card in this deck. It's like a tech against other Ganon decks, so GG's. In this match, we got against Samira, Annie, and Sen. So, obviously, wildfire. Ah, uh, wow. Okay, this Sen is actually great. I like this hand. I like this whole hand. I like the elusive blockers. I like the Nila. I like everything about it. The Howling Gate. Uh, ooh, yeah, this is this is getting better and better. Um, the Howling Gate is gonna be reduced here. I guess we, I guess this won't be reduced anymore. Do we do this? We don't need to block this, right? We don't need to attack into this just yet. We still get to pun it. We still get to stop that damage. We still get to put the Nila afterwards, I guess. I guess we can go like this now and let's be block the Nambori Blade Scout. Pigeon. I'll give I'll give you this. Okay, no way. I don't I, I'm gonna just block. Like that makes no sense to me that the opponent just did that like that. We go acorn again. So we'll go acorn again, Dan and Mets turn. Absolutely. I'll give it to you now. They they wow. Why not? Why not? You don't have like in, if you have Samira, I guess. I guess you have Samira. No, that's not Samira either. 
Let's wait. Because if they have Samira. So this is 2-5. Uh, 2-4 right now. That the opponent is dealing. Let's wait. If there is a Samira. Okay, they're going to just stun it. All right. I, was, I was wondering. I was like, what are they doing? But they just want to stun. Okay. So we can go like this. So this is going to be 7. This is going to be 7. We can actually Howling Gate this guy. I guess it I guess it doesn't matter, right? Either way it's the same. We can howling get like this and just take block with the Nila. So if we block with the Nila, we keep the Acorn alive. We take seven damage, go down to eleven. If we play the Janna, we block here, we take an extra two damage, but the Nila stays alive. And we start getting the Janna draw. I might actually prefer to go like this. We're gonna sacrifice the Nila here. I think I have to go. I think I have to go like this. I think I have to go like this. Block the uh, the stage hand. Take the Nestor two damage. We still have this Acorn, the Ganna, and the Cloud Wender is gonna give me a lot of draw. We have the Slipstreams as well. Yes, yeah. There we go. We get the Mystic. We we get an Elusive Blocker, right? So I'm actually thinking I, I like the Elusive Blocker into the Exalted Cloud Wender instead of the Nila. I think I don't need her just yet. The opponent gets their first set of wildfires, so one, three, six. Okay, they just they need to play four wildfires and they get there, right? So if they have four wildfires, they will be able to get to a good position. You're gonna give me both. So at this point, opponent just wants to block because they just wanna go for their uh they just wanna commit lethal with the wildfires, right? So they have they have one breeze and one wildfire in their hand. They're gonna get another wildfire afterwards. Yeah, so there you go. You get your stuff. Big deal. Uh, let's give you this mariner. I'm gonna have to try to commit lethal next turn. I don't care, right? Whatever they put, like I want the opponent to use that flare to try to challenge if they want to. You go like this. My vortex shall consume you. I, I like this slipstream. I like this slipstream right now. Good thing we did it. Levels up the Ghana. Let's level up this Janna and potentially also level up this Nila. So the point is. Oh. Let's go for it. I know I know I'm losing some burn now, but that's okay. I guess I should have waited. But I mean I was gonna discard it, but I was trying to see if I could level up this because like this nail is gonna level up right here because of the Ghana, right? So that's an additional two damage that I would have lost that on if I let that lift stream get discarded. Now the opponent still has the rejuvenating breeze here. That will that will heal them up. If they have two breezes, that would take them to six. We know they have one breeze and one wildfire, right? Because they didn't use the last turn. No, they did use the wildfire. So they have one breeze. If they have a second breeze that takes them to 20, we don't have lethal if the opponent has another one. So I need to play as if the opponent only has... Well, if they have a stage hand, then I'm, I'm giving them the time as well. I think I have to just go for it. I have to just go for it and just hope that I get the burn. So if the opponent has exactly two breezes here, they will be okay. We press okay first. I want to bait them into just playing the wildfire. Perfect. And now we know, like, they shouldn't have a way to stop us, right? I guess we can wait it out. In case that they have, like, a random deny, we, we could wait it out. Right. Well, I'm not going to play around. A, I'm not going to play around a deny right now, but I'm just going to replay right now. Just in case that they have a deny, I wanted to make sure that I was protected against that until the opponent tapped out of the four mana. The problem with doing that actually, I, 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 it was a misplay because if the opponent found if the opponent found the second breeze, they would have been able to protect themselves next turn. So yeah, I just misplayed there. As soon as the opponent played that first wildfire, I should have just ripped that mystic. I just gave them a chance to be able to heal up with the breeze. I, I, I forgot to play around the second breeze again, right? So slight misplay at the end. 
but I think we had a we had a pretty smart line with using that slipstream, even though we lost the cards to level up the Nila, because it was an additional three damage between her, her her hitting the Nexus and then the one damage from leveling up. Uh, kind of threw that out of my misplay afterwards, but that's okay. You all know me. You watch me because I make all these misplays. So yeah. GG's. Hey, welcome back everyone. Hope you enjoyed those games of Nila and Janna and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Like this deck is so gross. We had so many games where we got to draw like infinite number of cards, just find out burn, find, find out these kinds of units and just blow up the opponent. Like it's, it's so crazy. It's so crazy how good this deck feels. Like, oh my goodness. Who thought that it was a good idea to give another blowback to this deck right because divine whirlwind is pretty much like a mini blowback that doesn't need you to discount your hand right because you're killing one of the opponent's blockers as you saw against the samira burn player right we killed the samira and then we also killed their crimson pigeon so the opponent literally had no blockers to defend ourselves against our open attacks and it's just so nuts add that to blowback doing the same thing the fact that we're able to remove opponent's blockers and then be able to just have a bunch of units ourselves is absolutely nuts especially when you can bound up above them up with plus two plus two with the tie collar uh, with the tie dancer that also for some reason joseph sanila which levels up super quickly in this deck ah it's so nuts now there's a lot of variations of this deck running around i personally don't like the one drop that draws a fleeting card they are i forgot the name already but you know whatever you guys know what i'm talking about right the pool shark i don't like the pool shark as much i like the divine draft a lot more the divine draft is a really nice way to, for us to counter against other Ghana decks you saw in that mirror against nila and Ghana how much value we have by killing their Wimborn Mariners with our Divine Draft. And also just putting some damage into their Nexus. Doesn't hurt as well. Might be the last thing you need to just burn them out. So I like this version with Divine, divine Draft. Uh, although the spells here make sense, you want the Howling Gates to deal with the opponent's Janas or anything else that might be really big. Uh, the Mystic Shot, Blowback, and Divine Whirlwinds, just our Nexus Burn. And the Out of the Storm is really good because, again, it lets us level up the Nila really quickly while letting us uh, while letting us get a bunch, a bunch of draw that can keep our hand in really good resources. Of course, you 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 get to do whatever you need to do with your units, like the Mariners, the, it's at the Clown Winder. These are the cards that you want to see, especially after you play Janna. So hopefully you get those early on. But even if you don't, you still get so much value here. It's funny how there's only three Bilgewater cards here. For the Brick Crash, the Nila, and the Tide Dancer putting a lot of work. So do not underestimate the power of these cards in this deck. You have a lot of cost reduction with Akon and, and Janna, etc, etc. In terms of my Mulligan though, I, it's, it's the one deck where I would recommend not, not keeping Nila. I definitely want to keep the Janna. So you want to go Janna, Acorn, Four Chief, right? And B Crash. B Crash, Janna, Acorn, Four Chief, B Crash. If you already have the Janna, then it's also okay to keep the Salted Clown Winder because you'll be able to play him right after you play Janna. It's a pretty nice curve. Uh, but if you don't have Janna, then I'd rather I'd rather Mulligan away the Cloud Winder to actually try to get my Janna. But Janna, Acorn, Four Chief, and the big crash are the, the cards that you're looking for to kind of push some early damage, get some discount going, and kind of go from there, right? So, yeah. Anyways, hope you enjoyed today's games. If you did, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post LOR videos every single day. You can also find us on Twitch at Twitch certain we stream every now and then. And you can also find us on Discord and Twitter. The links to those are both in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all again tomorrow.